Hello, this is Mark Cashman here to advocate for the power of the blank list in Microsoft Lists. I am a senior product manager here at Microsoft, focused on lists, a lot of things we do in SharePoint and Teams, and I have a specific use case that I want to share that I thought might be helpful to see how quickly you can get started with lists, especially if you only have just a little bit of information you need to track, but it's something that you maybe want to manage or have available to other people when you share it in a little bit more of a better format. So let us go in and see the list that I already have that I created and then step back in terms of getting there. So this is a pretty simple list. It does not use a template. I started blank and I just had my title column renamed to resource and then added items. I have a choice field that I called style. So it's the style of resource. Gave it a couple of, of different choices that I could make. I have a hyperlink column, a yes no column which I titled external ok to indicate if this was something that is ok to share with somebody who is external to Microsoft or not. And then an owner for anything that people need to follow up whether it's me or one of my colleagues if they have any questions based on any of these resources. So instead of me keeping this list in a Word document or a OneNote file and copy pasting it into a chat. I can always just send this as a link and maintain this as an always up-to-date resource set of resources for whenever anybody's asking me a question about Microsoft Ignite. And that's something that seems to be very top of mind for a lot of people. And so a lot of these questions are coming to me and I wanted to define a way that just was, here's a link for the most common things that are people asking. If you have more questions, you know, let me know. But this, this set of resources should take care of what you're looking for with the right level of context so that when they get there they know what each thing is and how it's to be used. So you might be asking yourself, Mark, how did you get there? Well, I am so glad that you asked that question because it really is to advocate for the power of the blank list template. Now, similar to when you are a writer or a painter, you can be staring at the blank page or the blank canvas, but a blank list template starts out blank but it is really yours to then design and add as much color and flavor to in a very very fast fashion but not to get around the fact that if you have more complex requirements with some of the templates that are already available to you of course use a template bring in your own custom list templates bring in data from excel use the value of an existing list those all of course have their own use cases i'm here to advocate for the blank list for when you need to create something very quickly with a limited set of information so i already have this existing so i'm going to give it a different title just a little shorter ignite resources and i'm going to give it a quick color and since this will be as if we're virtually traveling to wherever Ignite would have been if it were in person, and I'm going to put it under my list and click create. And just like those writers and those painters out there, we are now staring at a blank list, which is a great place to start. Don't be scared. Don't feel like that you have a lister's block or something like that. So the first thing I want to do is just rename title, which I can do by going to column settings, rename. And we had this listed out as resource. And I'll click save. Then I want to add a choice column. And this gives me the ability to put in the what type of resource is it or what type of style is this. And we had a number of choices. We had site. We had registration. We had teams. We had PowerPoint, and we had Twitter. And we'll click Save. So now our choice column is set up. Then I wanted a hyperlink column, so we'll add that. This one I just want to call a link. And then we have that concept of if it's OK to share externally or not. So I'm going to use a yes, no column and just title it external OK and then have the default value be yes, and we'll put some smarts behind that in terms of formatting. And then the last thing is to use a person column, and we'll call this one owner, so people know who to follow up with. We want to show everybody's profile picture because I think that's a lot more engaging, and if we need to, we can add multiple owners. So click Save, and now my blank list isn't quite as blank as we started out but it's still pretty blank as far as the information is. So I'm going to enter in one and then we'll flip back and see the list that we had 
uh, so that you can see once you start adding a lot of information. So the first resource was the Ignite public website. And this is a site. We'll enter in the link here, which is fairly easy to remember. And give it an alternative. Public site. Obviously, this being public site is external OK, yes. So we'll just leave that as the default. And since I am representing for my team who to go to to ask questions about Microsoft Ignite, I'll just add myself as the owner. So default form, blank list with a couple of columns, click Save. And voila, we're starting to build out the formatting. The one thing I tweaked just to give it a little flavor was what does this look like? Not just a checkbox, but if I actually go into column settings, format this column, you'll see that I can format this specific style of column to yes, no. So if I want it to be yes, I want it to stand out a little bit more. Green is good for fill. I want to bold and maybe make the text a little bit bigger and make it black and give it a thumbs up and a border that will give an uh, indication that this is moving in the right direction. So that's if it's yes. If we go back, if something is listed as no, I want to give it a little bit more of an obvious style. The fill is good. The text size is good. The color is good. Uh, maybe bold it. And for no, instead of a thumbs up, we could use a thumbs down. But I sometimes think it's nice to use the critical error icon. And then in this case, I want to give it a border that's a little bit thicker and just stands out a little bit. So pretty quickly, you can see that I changed the formatting just so it pops a little bit, added my information. And like that, I have started and moved on from blank, but with blank, and got started very quickly. And if I hadn't spent quite as much time explaining, you can imagine how much time when you're just getting down, doing what you need to do, and getting it done. Starting with blank is a very quick and easy way to start. So let's switch over and go back to the list so that you can see it now with a little bit of context behind it. I go into my list. I've favorited it so it shows up here as one of the resources or things that I like to access. And there it is. I've added a lot more uh, content so that you can see yes and no, the values and what it looks like. These links are all real links that I have here that I'll start to share with people. Instead of, like I said, copy pasting into an email, I'll just send them a link to this set of resources, a simple list of Microsoft Ignite resources. Some are internal links, some are external, and I can add to this, I can remove it, I can adjust it based on feedback if people are looking for things or owners change. And anytime somebody hits this link, they'll see this list in the most up-to-date fashion. The last thing that I wanted to show with you, share with you, is if I go back at the parent level here from the list's homepage, in the three ellipses to any of these tiles, I can go in and click share. And this is where I can decide, how do I want to share this? Do I want people to be able to edit it, anybody in my organization? Or if I make a simple choice and just say, I just want them to be able to view it, I can click apply, grab this link, and I can make a note of this link, and I can use it at any time. And if I open this up and basically paste it in, it'll take me to a view only uh, link of this. Since I'm the owner, of course, I have the ability to edit from it. But if I shared it with somebody who is not me, is not an owner, their ability to see this list, to be able to click and learn and follow up with people is all right there. I manage the list. It's my uh, way of responding and answering to people who are asking for information about Microsoft Ignite. And it was that easy. Again, I am a huge advocate for the blank list template. It is a great way to start. Simple, easy, make it your own.